Hello, my name's Keith. Um, I was born on here in 1953 at my grandmother's house and we lived next door to the bakehouse where my uncle was the baker and confectioner there. The bakehouse was owned by Armisteads and I used to go in as a child and go, go in every day when I was at Ripley School to sit next to the ovens and listen to the old gentleman gossip. And many a story was told in the bakehouse, old ladies talking about different things and, and I'd have to head back to school. Uh, it was good days, but when you lived round here, you didn't need to do, you didn't need to go anywhere. It was the advent of um, supermarket before supermarkets, and there was many little business round here where you could get anything you wanted. So, yeah, as I say, the bakehouse was good for bread, uh, cakes, pies, all that sort of thing, and you could walk down the end of Grasmere Road. And there was the ladies' hair dresses there, and you walk down Dalton Road, and there was a co-op at the bottom, and across the road from the co-op was the Rose Tavern pub, public house, and across the road that was run by Mitchells, and across the road was the Freeholders' Arm, that was run by Yates and Jacksons, and you walk further along Old Water Road towards the end, and there was a post office and a chemist shop combined, which is now shut down, but for, oh, thankfully the post office happened, opened up at the other end of Old Water Road and is doing an excellent service now. Uh, and so after that you can go across the road and there was a little wet fish shop owned by Nellie Gibbons, the name was, sold all the wet fish, shrimps, etc. And you went next door to that and there was a butcher's shop and after that there was an hairdresser, then it became a, a gentleman's hairdresser, then it became a laundrette. And you went along and when you had a bit of money there was Sidonio's ice cream parlour on the corner of Old Water Road. Sold the best ice cream in the world and when you had a bit of money you always went in there for an ice cream. And, you, and after that you came across the road and there was a Britannia pub. That was also owned by Yates and Jacksons. So you had plenty of little things just in this little area. And you could you could go up onto Windermere down the end and there was little shops all over, little businesses. So you could always find what you needed in them days. So there was happy days. And we moved off, when we moved off, we moved down onto uh, Newton Estate. Then many years later, I, I bought a house again back on Grasmere Road. So I'm back basically where I started. Oh, I have a hobby around the back in the garage, just rebuilding motorbikes, etc. And just keeps me out of mischief now I'm retired. <laughs>